And today, well, I'm going to introduce my channel and what it's all about. So this channel is going to be about um, carnivorous plants, different types of carnivorous plants, how to take care of them. I have a couple of years of experience with these. Um, how to, yeah, just how to grow them, and I'm going to take a look at them in the wild sometimes. And but so yeah, please stay tuned for more videos. I'll hopefully be making one every week or so, maybe. Maybe more often than that. Okay, but now for the video. Today I'm going to show you how to identify Venus flytraps with aphid damage. Aphids are those small, green, obnoxious little pests that you'll find everywhere. Um, they basically suck the fluids out of the plants um, for survival. So when you when you're looking for aphids, check for odd, deformed traps such as these right here. You'll notice that they're Let's get a better view. This one is oddly shaped and wrinkled leaves, green color, really strange looking right there, and a smaller trap right here. So look for twisted, weird, mutated little traps like those. Um, and now to get rid of them, you're going to need some. Well, there's the easiest way, the cheapest way is to immerse. Um, your Venus flytraps in a um, in some distilled water for a couple days or at least until the aphids are dead. Um, you might have to repeat this um, a couple times as the aphids eggs are waterproof but just repeat until you no longer see any aphids. That's the simplest method I can um, give and the other you could always get some pesticides that are soap based Pesticides. You just have to check to make sure they're friend, uh, carnivorous plant friendly. Excuse me. And another good option would be neem oil, but I found that sometimes that can stunt the growth of carnivorous plants for a while. So just be cautious when you're using that. Um, so yeah, that'll be it all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more carnivorous plant videos, tips, and how to grow them. Um, good. To have a good day.